Well, hello everybody, this is Katherine Allen, and welcome to my very first video tutorial. I'm a little nervous, so hopefully I don't babble too much. I'll try to get through this quickly, but um, I thought I'd show you something called a Dahlia fla Flower Fold. It's not a new technique, but I think it's fun, and I think you would have fun with your kids doing it. Uh, it's kind of like paper airplanes in a way. Uh, this card features the new Ski Slope Designer series paper that's in the Holiday Mini and the colors are real red and old olive so I'm tying those in on either side here and I guess we will just begin and uh, make the card. So I have my 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch and I've got the Ski Slope Designer paper. I've gone ahead and punched out seven circles and I'm going to punch out an eighth one. And I'm going to do my paper airplane, if you will. We're going to fold the circle in half. I'm going to use my bone folder so I get a nice, clean, crisp edge. And then I'm going to fold it in half the other way. Now I want more red on my card to show, or on my flower, to show than not. So what I'm doing is making a line with my bone folder from one folded crease point to the other and then from here to this one and then using my bone folder or your finger just fold that over and I'm gonna have some red showing this will be the center of my flower after you have it pointed like that you're just gonna flip it over and this is why it's kind of like a paper airplane and then bring that into the center and you know where center is because you folded it in half earlier and there's a crease line there. Do the same thing on the other side. Give it a nice crisp edge. Alright, and there's another petal. How about one more time? I won't do it eight times. You will have to do it eight times. It's a little time consuming but I think it's worth the look. I wouldn't do this for my Christmas card for 50 people, say, but a few a few deserving people might uh, get this card. Maybe you could even just use the flower as a decoration on a gift box or a gift bag. Again, making my lines with the bone folder, making a crease, and then just folding that over. It's not perfect. It's not exact, but it's okay. Not all flowers in nature are perfect either, and that's kind of what makes them perfect. Flipping it over and folding it into the center line. So, aren't you glad I didn't bore you with eight of those? So, I've got all eight of them all set and ready to go. And now I'm going to use my Colossal, a tool that I love. I know a lot of people don't, but I happen to like it. I've taken my Colossal and I've actually color coded each circle on here. It's really old and been through the ringer, so you might not be able to see all the colors, but I found that that was very helpful um, when I went to cut my circles to make sure I stayed in the same track. So I'm putting my blade point tip in, going around, so I'm following the green circle. I'll have to count out how many it is. One, two, three, four, five. So it's five out. And then I'm just going to grab my paper snips and give it a little cut on each end. And I've got my circle. Now I can attach my petals. I'm using adhesive and I'm only using it on the back side of it. I guess you could if you wanted to um, adhere all of the these little petals on the inside but I don't know I kind of kept it not adhered because I really like the dimension that you see in the card. So how I'm adhering these is I'm going to do four across kind of like in a T have a little space in the center, but that's okay because I'm going to add a little bling in a minute. And hopefully, yeah, 
that's pretty well centered. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And then I'm going to go in and fill in the gaps. Now you'll notice I used a old olive circle as the base, and that's because old olive is my middle color here on the designer paper. So if I did have any gaps, it would be less noticeable. If you do this card and you get really good at the technique, I bet you it could use like a nice contrasting circle background. See, there's a little old olive edge there, but we won't tell anyone. So anyway, you could use a nice contrasting circle for the background and uh, give it even a little bit more pop. All right, one more to go here. And then we'll add our bling. But I know this is called a dahlia fold or a dahlia flower. I don't know. Doesn't it look like a poinsettia in a way? I thought so. I'm going to take my anywhere hole punch and my hammer. This is going to be loud. One second. And then I've punched through all of the layers that I need to. I grabbed a diamond, I guess, rhinestone brad whoops, from the pretties kit. And I'm going to put that right in the center. And open that up. Alright, so now I've got my flower. And I'm going to set that aside.